Hi Carbeel, it's me, Mrs Shaw. Um, bit of a different Learning Powers video this time. I am going to tell you a story. Um, it's a lovely one called The Mermaid and the Shoe. And I'd like you, as I read it, to listen out for any learning powers um, that are shown throughout the story. And at the end, maybe you could tell your teacher what you spotted. It's got some great illustrations as well, so we'll get we'll get into it. King Neptune had 50 daughters. Some might call them mermaids. They were his pride and joy. Cleo, the king would boast, is a gifted gardener. Thetis is a fantastic fish trainer. Calypso sings with silvery moonlight in her voice. Each princess, it seemed, was more remarkable than the last. Except Minnow. Minnow's garden was limp and sparse. Fish did not follow her instructions. In her voice, there was no light of any kind. She did, however, ask many, many questions. I like her already. Why, she asked Cleo, don't crabs have fins? Where, she asked Thetis, do bubbles go? What, she asked Calypso, lies beyond the kingdom? Stop asking useless questions, Calypso replied, and be remarkable like the rest of us. What are you even here for? Minnow wasn't sure. Useless hissed Calypso, for sisters can be mean that way. And quietly Minnow slipped away to float alone where the current was warm and pleasant. There, one day, something new drifted into Minnow's life. She couldn't imagine what it was for, but it was the loveliest thing she had ever seen. What is this? Minnow asked Cleo. Perhaps, said her sister, it's a hat. But the thing was a poor fit and not at all flattering. What is this? She asked Thetis. Perhaps, said her sister, it's a jewel box. But the thing was wobbly and spilled pearls all over Minnow's grotto. What is this? She asked Calypso. Questions, questions, snapped her sister. It's junk, useless like you. This thing, insisted Minnow, was made with care. It has a purpose and I will discover it. So off she set, into the warm current from whence the thing had come. In the forest, she passed an octopus. What is this? She asked it. But the octopus just shrugged. In the shallows, she happened upon a whale. What is this? she asked it. I swallowed one of those once, said the whale. Yuck. Near the surface, she passed some crabs. What is this? she asked them. Don't eat us, shrieked the startled crab, scuttling onto the rocky shore. Aha, thought Minnow, who wasn't even hungry. That's why they don't have fins. But she was running out of creatures to question. So she found the answer to one of her questions. She had arrived at the edge of the kingdom where bubbles burst and the above place began. What a wondrous world, gasped Minnow, eyes wide as sand dollars. Overhead were curious fish that made an awful racket. The coral was dull like seaweed and the seaweed was brilliant like coral. Nearby stood a huge shell with a door. But there was nothing like the lovely thing, and no one could to tell her what it was for. Minnow could journey no further. Disappointed, she turned to leave. I'm afraid, she told the thing, we are useless after all. Suddenly, an odd creature burst from the shell. It was half mermaid, but with two octopus legs. And on those legs was a pair of the lovely things. Don't get your shoes wet, yelled a voice from the door. So the landmaid removed them and Minnow finally knew exactly what the lovely things were for. Concealed within was another set of hands. 
but so ugly, she gasped, so knobbly and gnarled and smelly. Bursting with news, Minnow returned home as fast as her tail could carry her. Excitedly, she urged the entire court to gather round to listen. She told them why crabs don't have fins. She told them of the place beyond the kingdom, where the bubbles went. She told them of the noisy fish and the giant shell homes. She told them of the landmaid and of shoes and the monstrous leg hands they were made to hide. When she was done, Calypso rolled her eyes. What? she scoffed. A useless story. But King Neptune beamed and hugged his smallest child. My minnow, he boasted to the entire kingdom, is a daring explorer. And everyone except Calypso clapped their hands, fins and tentacles in agreement. Will you tell us more? they cried. That, said Minnow, is what I'm here for. And she recounted her adventures until the starfish came out and the anemones fell asleep. That's a good one. Okay. Um, lots to do there. Minnow is pretty amazing. If we could put learning powers into uh, a person, she might be it. So have a chat about it and when she might have shown our learning powers and if you were her if you'd have done the same thing that she did because she was pretty courageous wasn't she um have a great rest of your day everyone and have a good easter holiday and i will see you soon take care bye